Learning about money is fun with Bud. You can practice identifying, counting, and saving money while learning fun facts about U.S. currency. Hi, kids. Let's begin. There are six types of U.S. coins. The penny, the nickel, the dime, the quarter, the half dollar, and the dollar coins. Today, we will learn information about each coin, how much they're worth, and some fun facts. So get ready, get set, let's go! This is a penny. It's worth one cent. Back in the days of old, it was made out of pure copper, but newer pennies are made mostly of zinc. Our 16th president, Abraham Lincoln, is on the front. Uh, traditionally, the Lincoln Memorial is on the back, and what's really cool about the penny is that if you look closely, you can actually see good old Abe in the middle of the memorial. In 2010, they changed the penny to feature the Union Shield on back. Some people want to get rid of the penny because it costs more to make a penny than it's actually worth. But most people still believe if you find Find a penny on the ground, it brings good luck. Here is a nickel. It's worth five cents. It's made of both copper and nickel. Thomas Jefferson, our third president of the United States and principal author of the Declaration of Independence, is on the front of the nickel. Traditionally, Jefferson's side profile is present on this coin, but in 2006, they changed and used his front-facing portrait on the nickel. You'll find Tom's house, the Monticello, on the back of the nickel. At a time when most brick was still imported from England, Jefferson chose to mold and bake his own bricks with clay found on the property. Mind you, there are a total of 43 rooms in the entire structure. Here is a dime. Don't let its size fool you. Even though it's the smallest coin, it's worth 10 cents. It is a silver-colored coin made of both copper and nickel. Franklin D. Roosevelt, our 32nd and longest-serving president, is on the front of the dime. On the flip side, you'll find a torch which signifies liberty, an olive branch which stands for peace, and the oak branch representing strength and independence. President Roosevelt, an avid stamp collector who struggled with polio, opened a therapeutic treatment center called the Georgia Warm Springs Foundation in order to help others with the same disease. One morning, while President Roosevelt was having his portrait painted, he collapsed and unfortunately passed away later that day. The unfinished portrait still hangs in a museum. Here is a traditional quarter with our first president, George Washington, on the front, and it's worth 25 cents. It's a silver-colored coin made of both copper and nickel. On the back, you'll find a bald eagle. What's neat about the quarter is that there are also three special quarter collections. The State Quarters, the Territory Quarters, and America the Beautiful Quarters. If the back of the quarter looks different, but it has Georgie, better known for cutting down the cherry tree on the front, it is still a quarter. This is true because I cannot tell a lie. This is a half dollar. It's a silver colored coin made of both copper and nickel and is worth 50 cents. Our 35th president, John F. Kennedy, better known as JFK, is on the front. He remains the youngest elected president in U.S. history. He was 43 when elected and was an award-winning author. Traditionally, on the reverse side, you'll find the presidential seal with an eagle holding an olive branch in its left talon, 13 arrows in its right with a shield in the front, and a ring of 50 stars surrounds the design. 
half dollar coins are extremely rare and hard to find. So if you have one, it's a keeper. Next are the dollar coins. The dollar coins have been made from gold, silver, and base metal and are worth 100 cents. There are two types, and they are super cool. First is my personal favorite, the Sacagawea dollar, also known as the Golden Dollar, which honors the extraordinary Native American woman who helped Lewis and Clark in their expedition out west. The back features a bald eagle in flight. Next is the Presidential Dollar, which celebrates the first 40 presidents of the United States, from George Washington all the way up to Ronald Reagan. Here is one with Ron on the front. These coins are awesome. The flip side features the Statue of Liberty, and they all say one dollar. These coins are rare, most definitely hard to find, and an amazing collector's item. Hey, thanks for hanging out and learning about coins. I've got a great idea. You can start looking for coins and identifying them. You can even put them in a piggy bank and begin saving your coins. Stick around and let's practice counting coins, okay?